Welcome back folks. In today's class, I'm going to talk about the math problems on the converging mirror and the diverging mirror. So converging and diverging mirrors. Diverging mirrors. And lens two and lens. Both of them. So the equation which we're going to use for the math problem is 1 over d o plus 1 over d i equal to 1 upon f. So now what is d o, what is d i, what is f? So if I recall the converging mirrors, if the object is placed down here and this is focal length or focal point, shall I say, and this is the center of curvature, so this length, this distance is called focal distance, FO. This is focal distance. And DO becomes the distance of the object from the vertex. So this is again the vertex point. So DO will be this distance. This distance is DO. And DI is where the image will be formed. So if this is how the first ray is parallel to the axis passing through the focal point, second ray will pass from the center of curvature where these two rays will meet. I'll draw the image at that point. So image in this case will be drawn like here and the, this will be equal to the distance of the image will be equal to this. This is DI. So hopefully now you know all these terms. So DO is the distance of object, distance of object, di is the distance distance of image image and fo is the focal length focal length all right and if i have to mark two fo that will be center of curvature center of curvature all right now i'm gonna take a question just a random question in which uh, I'll try and figure out the uh, unknowns. So let's say object is located, an object is located at 20 centimeter from converging mirror, 20 centimeter from converging mirror. Okay, and the focal length, focal length is given to me, which is 15 centimeter where the image will be formed i wanted to find out the distance of the image so this is the distance of the object do which is 20 centimeter fo is given to me 15 centimeter di is what i'm looking for so one upon di plus one upon do is equal to one upon f so di is what we are looking for, DO is 1 upon 20 equal to 1 upon F is 1 upon 15. Now, 1 upon DI, I wanted to figure out, 1 upon 15 minus 1 over 20. So, because you are allowed to use the calculator, you can divide them, you can divide this and then do the calculation and you will be able to figure out the answer. Now, this formula, which I wrote down here is for the converging mirror. So this formula, we will use the con for converging. As in the que question I mentioned, it is a converging mirror. If it is a diverging mirror, the only difference will be negative one F. It will change to one upon di plus one upon do. This formula we will use for diverging diverging mirrors okay and if i go back into the calculation for this question di value will come out to be approximately 60 centimeter from here so that's how we're gonna calculate the one of the unknowns another formula is magnification ratio which is denoted by m this is magnification ratio so that tells me how big or the small image will be. The formula for magnification ratio is one upon HI 
not one upon it is h i upon h o equal to negative d i upon d o so this formula remains same for both converging and diverging mirror remains remains same for both converging converging and diverging mirror mirrors even for lens the formula is going to remain same when whenever we're going to go to the lens the formula is going to remain exactly the same too now hi is the height of the image so if i look into the question this will become hi this height is hi this is hi and this is ho this is ho height of the object okay so now i'm going to write it here also hi height height of image and ho is height of object now if if m value is less than less than one then it's a small image or i should write it in specifically i should write it between zero and one it's a smaller image and if the m value is greater than one at m equal to one it is it is the same size same size less than one smaller image greater than one bigger image bigger image if m value is negative m value is negative then it's a real image real image so for example if let's say we are given the height of the object height of the object is 10 centimeter and height of the image comes out to be 5 centimeter in that scenario i'll say ho upon hi the magnification ratio comes out to be 5 divided by 10 magnification is 0 0.5 it is smaller it is smaller but it's a positive number nothing in front it means it's a positive number so if it is a positive number it's a virtual image virtual if if let's say this number was a negative number the value would which we would have got negative 0 0.5 then it will be called as real image real image okay hopefully you guys are clear about all these terms now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the lens so in case of lens as we said earlier if it is if the if the rays are converging at a point this is called a convex lens convex lens or a converging lens converging lens and the formula for this will be one upon f equal to one upon do plus one upon di that's the formula and if it is a diverging lens like this this is a diverging lens diverging lens then formula will be negative one upon f equal to one upon do plus one upon di magnification ratio formula will remain exactly the same for irrespective of whether it's a converging or diverging ho upon hi equal to negative d it will be negative d i upon d o so this remains exactly the same so hopefully you guys now know how to approach these questions when you are asked a question on converging lens converging mirror 
uh, or diverging lens or diverging mirror. Now, there is another formula which uh, is called Snell's law. Snell's law. So Snell's law formula is N1 sine theta 1 equal to N2 sine theta 2. This formula is mainly to calculate the refractive index or the angle at which the light is incident on a material. So this N1 and N2 are refractive index. Refractive index of a material. And theta 1 and theta 2 are angle of incident and angle of refraction. So this will become theta 1. This will become theta 2. Remember this thing, the angle has to be with respect to the vertical line. Never take angle with respect to horizontal. That will be wrong. Okay. So theta 1, angle of incident or incidence, angle of incidence. And theta 2 is angle of refraction. angle of incidence and angle of refraction. Now, I'm going to take a question on this one. Let's say you are given a light which falls onto the water surface. So down here, this is water and this is air. The light falls onto the water surface and the light ray is incident on this at an angle of 35 degrees. So this angle is 35 degree. And uh, then uh, we wanted to find out the angle, calculate the angle it will be reflected at. Okay. Or refracted at, shall I say, not reflected. So let me redraw it. Just it's like this. And then obviously when it passes through the water, it will bend like this. And this is the angle we wanted to find out. I'm going to write the formula N1 sine theta 1 equal to N2 sine theta 2. So if air I'm considering as 1, so I'm going to call this one as N1. And if I'm considering the water as the second material, so I'm going to put the 2 here. So N1 air refractive index, this will be given to you in the exam, the refractive index, if you are asked to find out the angle. So this is 1.003 sine of 35 degrees and equal to N2, the refractive index of water is 1.33 and sine of theta 2. Again, if this kind of a question is in exam, you will be given the refractive indexes. So dividing both sides by 1.33, 1.003 sine of 35 degrees and divide here by 1.33 also divided by 1.33 equal to sine theta 2 and then sine whatever the value you're going to get from here and take the sine inverse of that sine inverse of that value that's going to give you angle theta 2 and make sure your calculator is in degree mode to get the final answer. So hopefully you understand how to approach the math problems on this chapter. So mainly you will need to do the math problems on, uh, uh, on the converging lens and the mirror, mirrors and diverging lens and mirrors. And then also uh, some math problems on the Snell's law. So if you can do these problems from the chapter number 13, uh, that'll be more than enough. So I'll see you with another video till, to the till then goodbye and make sure you guys do the critical angle video critical angle problems too